Hello, this is Mark Moore with another Excel tutorial and in this one I'm going to show you a couple of tricks using Find and Replace. Find and Replace is on the Home tab. You go all the way to the right. There is Find and there is Replace. There's Control H for Replace as a shortcut and Control F as the shortcut but you know what? They both do the same thing. If I press Control F I end up in the find and replace it just comes to this first tab now I'm gonna close this I'm gonna press control H it's the exact same tab same window just a different tab so you can use one or the other whichever one you remember so the trick that I'm gonna show you let me close this and let me set the stage for the issue the issue is we downloaded this information from let's say it's Salesforce or Navision or Great Plains or who cares but it came from some system and when Excel imported it these part numbers got messed up there was an unknown character in these part numbers and Excel put a question mark but it should be a dash well how do we do a find and replace for that you know if you use an asterisk that's a wild card for any number of characters. If you use a question mark, that's a wild card for one character. So, let's suppose you didn't know that. You might not. Okay, I'm going to come over and I'm just going to highlight these cells. I'm going to press Control H. And a normal Excel user would say, you know what? I want to find the question marks and I want to replace it with a dash. If I hit replace, it'll just replace the active cell one at a time. If I, I, I ah, sorry about that. If I click on replace all, it'll replace everything. So it actually did replace all cells, but it replaced everything because the question mark represents one character. So really, what you did when you put the question mark is you said go through every single character and replace it with a dash because it's a wild card so I'm gonna hit escape escape and I'm gonna undo this so yeah for three cells you could do it by hand but for 30 300 or 3000 of course not so what's the solution the solution is you have to use the escape character to tell Excel don't use the question mark as a wild card use it as a question mark the escape character is the tilde and the tilde if you look at your keyboard it is the key it's a little squiggly line to the left of number one and above the left tab so you have to press shift and that so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna just highlight that area press control H instead of the question mark you put the tilde uh, shift and the question mark and then replace it with the dash and now when we hit replace all it does exactly what we want it just replaces the question mark as a character not as a wild card I'm gonna hit OK the same thing happens if there's an asterisk so for example I'll just go through this right here I'll just change this one manually to show you if we do asterisk here and asterisk here it's literally the same exercise if we want to replace that with a dash just highlight the area so if I don't highlight an area and I hit replace all it will go everywhere in the entire sheet so I always just like to highlight an area so just to limit that find and replace so instead of the question mark if I just want the asterisk after the tilde and I hit replace all and it just replaces that okay and oops can you see that close and so that is the trick on how to find asterisk and question marks in the find replace go ahead check out my other lessons if you want on Amazon or my school or check out the other YouTube lessons and I will see you in a bit